Hello and welcome to my Home Tuition's YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss differentiation and finding gradient of a curve at any point by using differentiations. We will also discuss using the Casio FX570EX class with calculator to help us to verify the answer. This video is sponsored by Casio Malaysia. Differentiation is a fundamental concept in calculus that is used to find rates of change and gradients of curve, as well as optimizations of functions. Here are some examples of how differentiation is used in various applications. One, finding gradients. One of the most basic applications of differentiation is finding gradients of curve. For example, if you have a function that represents the distance traveled by car over time, you can use differentiation to find the car's speed at any given time, which is equivalent to finding the gradient of the curve at that point. Two, optimizations. Differentiation is also used in optimization problems. For example, a company might use differentiation to find the maximum profit it can make by producing a certain number of products. While taking into account factors such as the cost of production and the demand for the product. Three, Calculating small changes. In many fields, including physics, chemistry, and engineering, a small changes can be significant. Differentiation is used to calculate these small changes. For example, if you have a function that represents the volume of a sphere as a function of its radius, you can use differentiation to calculate how much the volume changes if you increase the radius by a small amount. Four, finding rates of change. Another important application of differentiation is finding rates of change. For instance, in physics, differentiation is used to find the accelerations of an object, which is the rate of change of its velocity over time. These are just a few examples of the many applications of differentiation. It is a powerful tool that has many practical uses in a wide variety of fields. In this video, we will focus on finding the gradient of a curve by using differentiation. For a function y equal to fx, the derivative of fx with respect to x, which is written as dy dx or f prime x, represents the gradient functions of the curve. Gradient of normal. The normal line to a curve at a given point is a straight line that is perpendicular to the tangent line at that point. The gradient of the normal line is the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent line. We have just learned that the gradient of tangent is equal to dy dx, hence the gradient of normal is equal to negative 1 over dy dx. Now let's see these past exam questions. This is uh, questions in year 2015, uh, paper 2, question 2. Uh, it is given the equations of the curve is y equal to 2x multiplied to 1 minus x to the power of 4 and the curve passes through p to 4, uh, this is a point, and find the gradient of the curve at point p and the equations of the normal to the curve at point p. So let's start with question a. Now just now we learned that the gradient functions, gradient functions, Gradient function is a mathematic function that we can use to find a gradient. So gradient function is equal to dy dx, dy dx. So let's differentiate y. This is the multiplication of two expressions. So therefore we use the product rules. So to use product rules first, we copy this one minus x to the power of four, one minus x to the power of four, and then multiply to the derivative of 2x. The, the derivative of 2x is equal to 2, and then plus copy 2x, and then multiply to the derivative of this 1 minus x to the power of 4. So this is equal to 4, and then 1 minus x to the power of 3, and then multiply to the derivative of the expressions inside the bracket, uh, which is equal to 1. Differentiate negative x, we get negative 1. So this is equal to 2, and then 1 minus x to the power of 4 uh, minus 2 times 4, 8. 8x 
1 minus x cubed. So this is the gradient functions of these equations. If we would like to find a gradient at p, we just need to substitute the x values of p into the gradient function. Uh, the x values of p is equal to 2. Uh, so therefore, when x equal to 2, then the gradient equal to equal to 2 times 1 minus 2 to the power of 4 minus 8 times 2 and then 1 minus 2 to the power of 3 okay so uh this is 2 1 minus 2 equals to negative 1 to the power of 4 and minus 16 negative 1 cube uh, this is equal to 2 and then uh, plus 16 which is equal to 18. So the gradient of the equations at uh, x equal to 2 or at p, or at point p is equal to 18. So this is the gradient of the equations at point p. Now let's use the Casio FX570EX class width calculator to verify our answer. Let's bring in the calculators. Now in our calculators, you can see that we have buttons uh, for integration and above these integrations, then we have differentiations. Uh, to go to the differentiation, we use shift uh, differentiations. Then we can see that on the screen, it shows the differentiations of x. Uh, and then this is the expressions that we would like to differentiate. And this is the x value for us to find the dy dx. So uh, for our case, we would like to differentiate this expression, which is 2x, 2x, and then brackets, 1 minus x, 1 minus x, close bracket, and then to the power of 4, okay? And we would like to find the value of this uh, dy dx when x equal to 2. So therefore we use the navigation key to move our cursor to this space, at p x equal to 2, therefore we key in 2 and then equal. So this is the answer for our dy dx when x equal to 2. So the answer is 18, uh, which is the same as the answer that we got just now, which means our answer is correct. Let's move on to question B. So they would like us to find the equations of the normal to the curve at point P. Now, just now we learned that normal is a line perpendicular to the tangent. And to find the equations of normal, we need to know the gradient of the normal. And just now we learned that the gradient of normal is equal to negative 1 over dy dx, right? In previous questions, we learned that dy dx is the gradient and the gradient equal to 18. So therefore, the gradient of normal equals to negative 1 over 18. So this is the gradient of the normal. And to find the equations, we use the formula y minus y1 equals to mx minus x1 because we know the gradient and we know the coordinates of one point. So therefore, we substitute the x value, y values of p into these equations and also the gradient into these equations. So y equal to, uh, the y1 is equal to 4. And then uh, m, m is the gradient, negative 1 over 18. x minus x1 equals to 2. Okay, so y minus 4 equal to negative 1 over 18x. Uh, plus 2 over 18, 2 over 18, therefore y equals to negative 1 over 18x plus 1 over 9 plus 4. So this is equal to negative 1 over 18x plus 37 over 9. So this is the equations of the normal.